and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to the video. Now, um, this is going to be like a first impressions of different shades of the Fentication palette. Friendcation palette from Des and Katie. Dose of colours. I will get it out right. Now it's night time, so I do apologise if I look a bit washed out with the lights. Um, we'll see how it goes, see if you can see the colours correctly, etc. But what if you remember on the first try of this, as in uh, number one, this shade stung my eyes underneath. So I have primed my eyes and we're going to go in with some shadows and um, different ones and see if they sting my eyes, etc. Um, I just wanted to try this. Well, let's just see. <laughs> I have already, as I said, put a bit of face on and primed my eyes. And I'm going to go in with basic, as usual, which is this shade here. Um, and just tap that over my um, eyeshadow primer because I do not want it to go all creasy um, and move around. Plus, I would like the shades, well, basically to sweep over. Right, so we're going to go straight in with this lovely brown here. Um, what is it called? Churro. And we're going straight in with that. Tappity tap. Let's get it into the crease. But as you see, they do blend absolutely lovely. This is the actual second time I picked this palette up. I did refrain from picking it up this morning because I just wanted to tr test it on camera. And with school, I didn't have time to test it on camera. Then I'm going in with the darker shade and just giving that a little bit of a sweep over as well. As you have seen on the other eye. And just blend it out a little bit. It does tend to stick where you put it, so make sure you dab in very lightly um, because it does tend to go... <laughs> when you put it down, it tends to stay there a bit and you have to sort of really blend it out. It's not awful to blend um, at all, in no ways and means, but uh, they are something like that. I'll just blend that up a little bit because we want want to see the brown something like that okay so I am now going to take my um, Primark you must have seen this if you've seen my channel you've seen this brush um, if you can hear my parrot screaming I do believe <laughs> I'm ever so sorry he seems to just be uh, noisy this evening um, but we're going to take the larger side of this synthetic brush from um, Primark and we're going to go in with the blue slash purple there's the purple look and we're just going to try that on the brush on its own and try not to dig all the pan up do we do, do and we're just going to pop that straight onto the eye there is no additional glue or anything and as normal it does fall out a bit but as normal like I keep saying as the other other palette they are absolutely perfect glitters you will not find a shadow that's so easy to work with I mean look wah it's on my eye how can you get any better than that let's shove it on the other one and as you can see, voila, you can do a cut crease without actually cutting the crease. Wisp away this um, blue. Now, will it wisp away? No. Right, so there you go. Um, it won't wisp away, so we'll just get the foundation brush. A uh, little trick there. Foundation brush, powder brush. Voila. 
gone. <laughs> but look at that. Then we're just going to go back in with this hair. Back in with this brush, the original brush, and just give it a little sweep over the edges because you don't want that to be f too harsh on the edges. And as you can see, it blends in beautifully. And uh, there we go. There is the blue eye. Oh, I do like this. Right, now the moment of truth. <laughs> That is this one, and as you can see, it is definitely blue in these lights, um, and it is purple. So it does go purple, I can't show you. Oh, it's so annoying. But I'd like to see what this looks like downstairs in the daylight bulb, but here we go. I'm going to go in with this one, which is called Game Over, the blacky blue. And I'm going to, that's pan, that is a little bit harder pan, that one. So let's see what this is like. And I'm taking a deep breath because I hope this doesn't sting. Now I purposely put that in my waterline to see if it would. And it doesn't sting as much as the green one. So definitely do not put them in the waterline. I don't think many do, do they? It's only me. Crap pot me that does. <laughs> um, but it didn't sting as much as... Uh, we're just going to do that little outer V there. So now it's, it's the green shade that irritated me the most um so i think if you are going to use this palette on your underline your waterline don't use it on your waterline <laughs> don't use it on your waterline but um under eye this shade doesn't hurt regardless of god because that, that green oh but no that is lovely oh you see, this is my normal look. This would be my normal look. What I would tend to do is go in with the pinky shade. That one there. Uh, girl by Tappity Tap. And just put a bit of that colour along the edge there. Just to bring that colour around a little. That's what I would do in a normal situation. And um, believe me... I would do this in the daytime. <laughs> yeah, that gives it a little bit more colour. I would do this in the daytime. Um, I don't know. I just would. I like it. And there we are. <laughs> I love this. Look at this. And I can guarantee you this will stay. Other end of the brush, Kaz. This will stay all day. All day. Right, in a corner, I think we'll go with hmm. Yeah, why not? The gold. Gotta go for the gold. Lather up that fluffy brush and bang, bang, bang. Now, I did look at um, the ingredients me and sarah was having a good look at the ingredients because i wanted to make sure that it's not a pigment uh because if it was a pigment then we would be in trouble and that's why it was stinging my eyes but it isn't um apparently it's got all it doesn't say on here but it's got all sorts of it's even that's a it, look i would say with the glitters don't poke them into your actual eyes i tend to do the corner of my eyes into my corner of my actual eye um i would say don't <laughs> be more wary of the under eye area but it does work um and on the lid it doesn't hurt at all so keep the glitters to the top if you're worried about um slight stinging 
So uh, it's a shame because like I said, the other one wasn't like it, but this, look at the colours. Look at the colours. I love. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now another little thing as well I have been using today is, you know this light shade here in the corner there? One that I wouldn't necessarily use. I used this as a contour shade and bronzing shade today. Um, which is quite good if you're travelling with the palette as a bronzing shade. I thought that was quite good. Um, it looks a little yet red, don't it? There you go, look. It is more subtle. Just when I step back, isn't it? But I used it on my nose contour as well. And then I used this here as the highlight down my nose and just above my eyes mm -hmm, and above my lips. And it worked. And it stayed. So, there we go. This is the look without a little bit of mascara. So I'll just now pop... Oh, which mascara shall I have? Sorry if that's clattering in the background. Um, I'm going to use the Lash Hero from Body Shop. Um, it's usually an all round of very good mascara. Um, empties. I have been saving like five, four, five months of empties and doing a huge one, which my last one was nearly half an hour long. I was thinking of mixing the makeup and the skincare together and possibly doing one every couple of months rather than waiting four or five months and it having a huge skincare one and now of course I've got a huge makeup empties one to do uh, for you here very shortly because it's it's building up my drawer and box is getting really full so yeah what do you think um, a combined skincare shower makeup empties video every couple of months hmm might be better than a great big one, wouldn't it? That's what I was thinking anyway. But there you go. Brilliant lashes then, aren't they? Look. Brilliant! Love it! Now, with this look, I would probably go... Look at my bags. I'm tired. With just a little lip gloss, which I do prefer to use my little buxom one. And look, it's nearly empty. <laughs> but I, um, yeah, I'll let my hair down. It's a wet mess, and there you go, <laughs> my wet mop down. Here is the finished look. Very simple, very easy. I find both of these palettes are, um, and the vibrancy of those colours are oh, fantastic. I think I might do a look with the green um, incorporated in, I don't know, a get ready with me or something like that. But we have tried most of the colours now in this palette. And um, to be honest, I do like them. Um, I love the packaging. Absolutely love the packaging. I love the colours inside. Look, my nails has come off. My nails are pinged off. No. Anyway, I absolutely love the packaging i love the colors inside but be warned with these stronger colors glitters the glitters just be warned that in the uh, waterline they do sting and smack into the inner corner of the do stings to try and keep away from that use liner where like i said before the other palette you could stick it in your waterline and it wouldn't hurt i don't know why this has got a lot of nice nutrients oils in it when me and sarah were looking at the ingredients this has got some lovely oils in it um i know there's joba oil and um argan oil in it but maybe that's why it's stinging my actual eyes when it goes into the waterline ehu eyeshadow shouldn't go in the waterline simple as <laughs> so there you are uh, quick and easy application and uh, yeah I am it's like my second running up palette this it's not the best uh, but it's my number two I think yes I am going to use this over and over again just because of the glittery eyes they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous 
so there you go thank you for watching my videos like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this i know i've done two first impression videos on this palette but the first one uh, the first of the first impressions was a bit of a disaster with the stinging and i think we've learned our lesson now but there you go thank you for watching see you soon